Hey guys, just loading up some mags here to go out and do some mag testing tomorrow to follow up on the mag test that I did the other day. Um, you know, I ran the factory mags first, full well knowing those were going to run great steel or brass. Then I ran the mag pulls second because, again, I full well knew those were going to run great. They had run great on brass and steel previously to that. And I had no uh, idea that they were going to mess up like that. And then I ran the Magpul, or I'm sorry, the uh, Manicores last, fully kind of expecting them to double feed again with the brass like they had done originally. So there was a method to my madness, and it was kind of for the video. I knew the first two were going to run good, and the third was most likely going to screw up, but. You know, it by the luck of the draw, it happened that the Magpul screwed up. So it kind of threw my whole uh, video off of what I kind of thought was going to happen. But, uh, you know, hey, I showed it as it comes, and that's how I'll always show it. Got some comments on it that, uh, you know, I didn't know how to run a gun and uh, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I guess that's just par for the course when you're doing these videos and you're dealing with the public but uh, you know keep in mind I do this for the fun of it I do it uh, because I enjoy it and hopefully to pass something along to my viewers and to people thinking about you know purchasing a gun or an accessory or a mag or whatever you know I don't do it to put down a brand or anything. Matter of fact, I love my CZ Scorpion. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite fun guns to shoot. And uh, the reason this whole mag thing started is I had so many of these manicores. You see here, I got two of these, uh, two of the clears, and two of the smoked. And then if I look over here somewhere, I've got another two still brand new in the package. So I was kind of invested in them, you know. Uh, I wanted them to run right. Never did I think the Magpuls were going to do that. So uh, just trying to be fair, impartial, and yes, I, I know how to run a gun. You know, I don't know if they're Magpul fans, if they thought I was knocking... Uh, the scorpion or or what but uh, no that's not the case and uh, we're just gonna load up these mags and get ready for tomorrow morning we're gonna run out real quick and run them and hey hopefully they run well I, I can't see though that ejection pattern boy was terrible you guys can see that in the first video it was just spitting them out left right left center all low terrible so Maybe, you know, the mag was hitting uh, that extractor. I, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to try and find out tomorrow. So catch you in the morning. Hey, guys. Chris at Rockford Ordnance. We are back at the range today, and we are going to be retesting these Magpul mags. If you saw the last uh, video... These Magpuls were jamming consistently, weak pore ejection, uh, erratic ejection. And in the last video, I was messing with the gun on camera and saw that it didn't really lock in, or I thought it didn't. It was on a closed bolt at that time. And you can see on a closed bolt, it's a little harder to get in there. You gotta give it a whack. So. When I looked at the video, it looked like uh, the mag release was closed in the closed position. But we're going to just make sure. The only difference today, we've got a little different ammo. It's uh, 124 grain instead of 115 grain, but it is brass cased. Uh, it's Cellar and Beloit. The other stuff was MagTech. Uh, that may have something to do with it, but. Let's see how this runs. This is the same Magpul mag. All right, so we got our ear pro on, uh, bolts open, mags inserted nice and tight, definitely in there. Let's see what happens.
Well, I noticed a little weird ejection there. Let's try one more. This is another Magpul mag. Inserted, nice and tight. Well, seemed to run okay. So we're gonna try another 35 rounds through that same uh, mag and see what happens. I'm gonna put it in on a closed bolt this time. It's in there. Let's see what happens. Well, seem to be functioning flawlessly. Don't know, uh, again, we'll look at the pictures and see what happens. Well guys, I, I don't know what to tell you on this one. The first mag we ran was the one that was having the issues. Loaded with 35 rounds, brass case ammo. Ran fine, no jams, however I did count five weak ejections that kind of dribbled out. So now if I want to rely on these mags, 100% rely on them, you got to wonder, well, all it takes is one dribbler to jam things up again. Then I put the second mag in, this one, and it ran fine. I didn't see one poor ejection at all. Then we ran the first one again. I reloaded it, we ran it, and I didn't see one poor ejection in that. Now the gun had been cleaned. Uh, I check, I don't see any difference as far as how the mags sit in the gun, anything like that. Uh, I did notice on the original video, when you look at the first Magpul mag here that I ran, where it jammed, uh, look where it, where I come toward the camera with it, and I show you the inside of the chamber there, you can see that the mag release is all the way back, meaning it is fully inserted. Also, that mag was inserted on an open bolt, which, as you can see, they go in just fine. There's no issue on an open bolt on these. Uh, on a closed bolt, they do take a little extra oomph, but that one that had the ejection problems was put in on an open bolt. So, looks like it wasn't user error there. On the second mag that I ran in the original video that had problems and ejection issues, I did put that in on an open bolt as well and still had the issue so while I can't see that mag release or anything it does seem like it was in the gun completely and then today the those couple dribblers so I don't know maybe it's an issue uh, with this little uh, ejector helper here Maybe that's not pushing something out. I don't know, but they run perfectly. I ran another Manticore today, it ran fine. Haven't had any issues other than with the Magpul mags. Maybe it's this one mag that's got a problem, it's hanging up, I don't know, because that other one I ran, ran perfect. So who knows? But we're just going to keep an eye on them. I'm going to clean them, keep them clean, run a bunch more ammo through them, and see where we're at. Worst case scenario, 
hey, factory mags run great, right? And the manicores seem to run great. If we can't get these to be absolutely perfect, which is what I want, call me OCD, or let's just say uh, your life may depend on it one day. I want them running fine. There should be no uh, bad ejection like that. Just shouldn't be. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But uh, for now, that's all I can tell you. And uh, we'll keep shooting, shooting it. And I'll keep you abreast of the situation. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, Rockford Ordnance out.